Hello! First off, happy Pride Month, and two, Black Lives Matter, period. Hello! Welcome back to our channel. Um, we are a DID system of 12 headmates and go by the Lex Luthor system collectively. My name is Robin, and I am currently co-fronting with Lex. Today we wanted to talk about forgiveness. Now, forgiveness can be a very heavy topic for us as a system, as it is for many other people who have DID or deal with CPTSD or have gone through trauma of some sort. This is because the concept of forgiveness, it feels impossible. How can you possibly forgive your abusers? How can you forgive what they did to you for so long? We associated forgiving with forgetting, but this is not the case at all. Yeah, forgiving our abusers, that has never, ever happened. They do not get to rent that free space in your mind, ever. Instead, when I say forgiveness, I, I mean forgiving yourself. And of course, that does not mean you did anything wrong. This forgiveness is meant to address what your trauma and what your trauma brain makes you think you are guilty of. Our trauma often causes our brain to make us feel as though we have committed some awful crime just by reacting as any other normal person would in a stressful situation. These negative thoughts, they're ugly little pieces of residue left behind for your abusers who tried to justify their actions by making you apologize. This explains why a lot, a lot, a lot of people who have gone through trauma, emotional abuse, any kind of abuse really often say sorry instinctually. Our instinct is to apologize because that's what we needed to do to be able to survive the abuse when it was happening. Now, being able to recognize what does and what does not equate to the need for an apology is super, super important to be able to begin to forgive yourself. I want you to start thinking about all of those things you said, oh, I'm so sorry to you, that were not your fault, that did not really equate to the need for an apology, but you said it anyway. Now, once you start recognizing that, that recognition allows you to slowly be kinder to yourself and your system. So when we talk about saying, forgive yourself, it really means fighting those negative thoughts, renting that free space in your head and your, those negative instincts and allowing self-care and kindness to come back into your life. You do not have to punish yourself for some, somebody else's actions because they felt guilty so they made you feel guilty. That tactic was manipulation. They manipulated you to believe that this was all your fault. And the truth is, it is not your fault. I know for us as a DID system, we experienced all of this in very, very early childhood all the way through about teenage years. How, how were we responsible for something an adult decided to do, right? It doesn't make any sense. All of those years listening to that manipulation makes you believe all of those preconceived ideas from your abusers and all of those negative thoughts from your traumas. And the truth is, none of that, none of that is your fault. The beautiful thing about DID is that it's a survival technique, right? So it was there when you needed it the most, when you needed to try to block those negative thoughts out just so that you could survive through life. It was easier back then to say, oh, I'm sorry, it was my fault, I'm sorry, when it really wasn't, to be able to keep you and your system safe from further harm. So my challenge for you this week is to do something positive for yourself, do some self-care. We believe in you and we're so proud of how far you have come. Recognizing that trauma has happened and being able to start recognizing the negative thinking patterns is huge. So. 
if you found this video and you're relating and you're recognizing already, you just hit a huge goal already. For watching, I know this was a super short video, but there has been a lot going on in the world, but we still wanted to put something out there this week. If there is anything that you would like to see in the future on this channel, feel free to comment below. If you follow us on social media, feel free to comment on there, send us messages. We're really open. Um, yeah, we like talking to people, especially people that are similar to us. And remember guys, be kind always, especially to yourself. Bye. Forgiveness is an incredibly heavy topic 